so soon. Well, I said I'd pick you up. Better get dressed. Have I got much time? Oh, you have just enough time to get married. That's what I figured. You cops are all alike. No mercy. Well, what did you expect? A reprieve? Well, not exactly, but I would like a little time to pull myself together. Okay, you've got a five-minute stay of execution. Thanks. Steve, I'm a mess. <laughs> That's normal for a bridegroom. I, I, I can't touch the ground. I, I feel like I'm floating. Normal. Is this? It came special delivery. Black Widow Spider, Tom. It's a sign of death, Steve. What's it all about? I guess one of your friends has a strange sense of humor. Mine were satisfied to tie tin cans to the car. <laughs> Come on, get going. You know, Steve, uh, I'm, uh, I'm glad you're here. I mean, besides that special delivery. Yeah, here, give me. Yeah, no man should go through this alone. Huh? I am alone, ever since my folks died. Oh, wait a minute. What about Angela? Well, that's just it. What's bothering me is, is about Angela. Okay, tell me. Well, you know, Steve, what a protected girl she's always been. Well, she's not a girl anymore, Tommy. She's a woman. In two hours, she'll be a wife. Yeah, that's just it. We're going to leave right after the wedding and... All right, now relax, Tom. Just remember that you love her and she loves you. Does she, Steve? Do you think she, she really loves me? No, I don't really. I think she's marrying you for your industrial empire. Oh, oh I don't mean that. I mean... Well, you know Angela. You've always been Uncle Steve to her. You remember how her old man had to beat off the guys with sticks? Even in high school. You don't know how many fights there were just to see who was going to carry your books. So, so why me? <laughs> you know, psychiatrists have a name for guys like you. What are you talking about? You're a masochist. You want to punish yourself. You can't stand a good thing. Why don't you just count your blessings, Tommy? Oh, I've been doing that ever since we got engaged. Okay, so relax. You know something? I feel better already. You better finish getting dressed.
Well, how do I look? Fine, fine. If, uh, if you're getting married in Scotland. <laughs> Are you addressing me? Do you see anybody else? Mister, your feet. What's the matter with my feet? They are on my primroses. Oh, so they are. I'm sorry. These are bell peppers and zucchini. Mr. Pavlik, I'm a florist. I don't need a botany lesson. This is no lesson, mister. This is a warning. Stay out of the plants. I've got work to do. So back out, Tommy. Not even in a joke. <laughs> hey, you know what's on Papa Anton's mind? Primroses and zucchini. Hi, <laughs> Ben. <laughs> Steve, I was just telling Tommy he has time to change his mind. Mm, if he did, he'd be out of his mind. You got the ring? Sure. What's the best man for? Yeah. Steve, I'm looking all over for you. What's the matter? Angela. What's the matter with Angela? What's going on? You hurry. You stay. <laughs> officer, and your mother has reported a disturbance of the peace up here, and I'm going to investigate. Don't tell me. There's nothing to tell. Well, then why is Mama going to pieces out there? When hasn't Mama gone to pieces? There's no trouble. I just don't want to marry him. Is everything else all right? How can you tease me at a time like this? Well, how can you tease me? I'm not teasing. You mean you really just don't love him? Huh? I didn't say that. Yeah, well, then. Well, maybe I just think I love him. Maybe it's, it's only just infatuation. Now, honey, that's just a lot of maybes. I want to be sure. I want to be absolutely, positively sure before... Yeah. Steve, I'm supposed to be alone with him tonight. The happiest night of your life, aren't you? Did you tell your mother how you felt? What piece of sage, old world philosophy did she come up with this time? She said that love is to fear nothing. Yeah, I think that just about covers it, don't you? But how can you really know someone that you're going to spend the rest of your life with? Angela, you listen to me. Teddy and I know each other a lot better now. But we've been married a few years. And we love each other a hundred times more. But, honey, we never would have known if we hadn't taken a chance. Well, it worked for you, but... Yeah, sure. Well, how can you be sure that... Look, honey, that's what I'm trying to tell you. I felt the same way about Teddy. Just saying that to make me feel good. No, look. Have I ever lied to you, Angel? Was Teddy... Did she feel this way? No, I'm not going to tell you about Teddy and me. Because marriage is private. And whatever happens between you and Tommy, tonight, and tomorrow, and the rest of your lives, only you and he will know about. That's one of the kind of scary things about marriage, I guess, but sometimes it's pretty reassuring. I mean, if you don't 
don't have anything to worry about. Tommy loves you so much, he's shaking. He loves you, Angela. I love him too, Steve. I do. But... No, but nothing. Look, what are you... You want a, a written guarantee that life is just a big bowl of cherries? Well, it isn't, honey. Now, you kids are starting out with a clean slate. You love one another. You write your own ticket. That's all anybody can ask. Go wash your eyes, will you? Come on, wash your eyes. Go. Yeah. I know I'm not supposed to see the bright, but uh, this just came. Oh, I got it, Tommy. Hey, special delivery. special delivery too. A dead black widow spider. I, uh, I got a funny friend somewhere. I don't think he's so funny. I don't think he's your friend, Tom. That's what I don't understand, Steve. I may not have many friends, but I didn't think I had any enemies. I really don't. Well, Tom, maybe you don't think you have any. I always got along with people. Look, Tom, I'm, I'm in a business where I see a lot of strange behavior, a lot of strange things. People make up their own reasons for what they think and for what they do. You mean somebody just decided to hate me, is that it? Come on, Tom, act your age. You've been in a war. You've seen what can happen to people. Darling, what about that man in your squad that day in Korea? Oh, I was in combat. What man? Well, she means Marty Kellogg. Okay, what about Marty Kellogg? It's, it's nothing. Look, will you just tell me about it, Tommy? He said I killed his buddy. Yeah, go on. It's ridiculous. I didn't... Tommy, will you just tell me about it? Well, it couldn't be him anyway. He's in a veteran's hospital. Where? Upstate. Upstate where? Green Tree. Operator, I'd like to be connected with the veteran's hospital at Green Tree, please. No, I don't know the number. Uh, this is Rector 2-2599. Yes, thank you. I'll wait. You're wasting your time. That hospital's 400 miles from here. This was mail from Glover's Ferry. That's only 50 miles away. Okay, okay, so I waste a telephone call. Now, what about Marty Kellogg? It was near the Yellow River. I was leading a patrol up in the hills. I tripped. I couldn't move. You know how you can fall and twist your ankle, Steve? I, I couldn't move. Yeah, sure. So, uh, the lieutenant sent up Pat O'Rourke to take over. Ten minutes later, he was dead. Marty was the first to find him. He, he wouldn't believe it. They had to pull Marty away. He said I killed O'Rourke and he was going to get me for it. Yes. Yes, I'd like to inquire about a patient named Martin Kellogg, please. Uh, just a minute. What was his rank? A PFC. Private first class. Yes, thank you. Go on. Well, that night they sent him down. Not because of what he said to me, but I suppose I counted against him, too. Marty had been acting strange for days. You know, Steve, we'd been on the line 36 days that time. All the guys... You ever see him again? No, but I read about him in the division paper. All about what's happened to the guys in the division, where they are, what they're doing. That's how I know where he is now. Yeah, hello. Yeah, I see, thank you. You knew where he was, Tommy. He was discharged from the hospital last week.
Justice Palmer. Tommy and his wife. Tommy and his bride from Marty. desires, Claire. My heart desires food. Help yourself. Any suggestions? Hello, Mother Hubbard. Uh-oh. Now you're mad. Of course I'm mad. I said I'd fix the picnic in my apartment. Don't do that, baby. Come over here, baby. I've got the goodies. Yeah? Girl has to be crazy. Oh. Oh, baby, did you hurt yourself? Yeah. Bad? No. Better? Mm-hmm. girl she went fishing that leaves the police maybe it's my mother your mother knows better than to call you on your day off go ahead hero hello bert this is steve you got a minute yeah steve go ahead i knew it <laughs> Oh, wait a minute, Steve. Will you relax? It's Corella. It's his day off, too. Yes, Steve. But you remember Angela, Anton Pavlik's daughter? She's getting married today. Yeah, where? Yeah, right here. To her the house. Is it a big wedding, Steve? Yes, it's a big wedding. Will Teddy be there? No, Claire. Teddy is in bed with a virus. Now, can I talk to Bert again? Sure. Thank you. He was saying, Steve. Now, both she and the groom have had threatening notes. There's a suspect. He's been recently discharged from a mental hospital. He could be any place. Oh, now, wait a minute, Steve. This is the first Sunday I've had off in a month. I got a date. Yeah, well, you had a date the day Teddy and I took your mother to the mountains on my Sunday off. You remember that date, lover? All right, so get a couple of squads of uniformed police. But you know better than that. This is a wedding, not a riot call. Look, we didn't get asked if I didn't think it was important. We'll be there, Steve. Steve! What do you mean, we? You hate big weddings? I love big weddings. You'll go off like a shot on some murder that's already been committed. Yet you'll hesitate, honey, when it might save a girl's life. Now, isn't that just like a woman? Concerned only with the bride. What about the groom? Grooms can take care of themselves. Well, if they could, they wouldn't be grooms. No, my oath of duty requires me to take care of both sexes. In that case, you better hurry up and change. Take me home. What for? Oh, I can't go like this. Why not? You look great. We're not coming back from our wedding, dear. We're going to somebody else. Okay. But just remember, his only business. It's so beautiful. And expensive. How can you think of money at a time like this? How can I stop? You have one daughter. Please, Anton, make her happy. It's his job now. Ah. You got a picture of him, Tommy? I don't think so, Steve. You sure? Not even a squad picture? Mm. No, I, I know I haven't. Okay, describe him. Well, he's a big guy. Close to six feet. Heavy. And solid. He isn't fat. 
Why should he threaten Angela? What's he got against her? Uh, dare you mention Angela's name? You know you're marrying my girl? <laughs> Get in the line. <laughs> I'm at the head of the line, Tommy. Hmm? <laughs> you can use a drink and so could I. Excuse us, Steve. Yeah, go ahead, Tommy. Isn't it beautiful? Uh -huh. I always wanted to get oh, married. Oh, come on. Hello, buddy. Hi. Hi, Bert. Hello, Craig. Hi, Steve. How do you like my new hat? Well, I, I think the phrase is that it does something for you. I think the question is what? You men are all alike. No, come on, honey. We're just kidding you. You look as pretty as a picture. Bert, you're a lucky guy. Well, there's something about big weddings that just bring out the best in a girl. Oh, I think you'd look just as beautiful in front of a justice of the peace. But who'd see me? And I always thought you looked beautiful just for me. You did? Well, you go right on thinking that. It's 90% true. <laughs> I'm going to go look at the presents. Yeah. It's a good sport to come on such short notice, you know. It's all propaganda. It's supposed to sell me on big weddings. Well, maybe it will. You got your gun? Sure. And that's one of the best arguments against big weddings. You can't frisk all the guests. So you never know. Luisa, Angela. Come on! If you don't start soon, all that food is going to get cold. Luisa, I'm warning you, Luisa. You better hurry up or people have to eat before the wedding. Angela. Hello, Daddy. Do I look all right? You happy, Angela? I love him, Daddy. Luisa, tell them that we need some more of that punch. A lot more. Tell them to put it on my bill. <laughs> Steve, did you have trouble breathing? I, I don't know. She had a bad case of amnesia, too. Oh, you're just trying to make me feel good. Yeah, so don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Huh? Countdown. Uh, what do I do? I just think of Angela. <laughs> Follow me on the Judas Coast. Uh, you're in the wrong place. There's no slaughterhouse. Oh, so not funny. Come on. Yes, can I help you, please? Could you tell me if I'm at the right address for the Palmer Pavlik wedding? This is it. What's your name, please? Tommy and I were buddies in Korea. My name is Marty Kellogg. Yes. You come right in, Mr. Kellogg. Hey, what? Oh, my God, oh, my God. What, what goes on? What is this? What are you guys trying to do? What? What? What's going on? What is it with you guys? guys nuts? Oh, I get it. Why don't you put it in oil so it don't explode? I know you listen to me. Angela is precious to me. And Tommy is my friend. And I don't find the idea of their getting killed very funny, buddy. Oh, for crying out loud, can't a guy come to a buddy's wedding without trying to kill him? Huh? Oh! How'd you hear about the wedding, Marty? The vision paper. And when would you get in town? Last night. I came in on the bus, checked in at a hotel at about 10. About 10. There's your bomb. I bought it yesterday. Well, come on, you know what that is. It's a waffle iron. Look, the cord's in the box. In the box, the cord. Mm. And the 
guarantee. It's guaranteed for a year against anything. All they got to do is fill it out and send it in. When did you stop at Glover's Ferry, Marty? Where? At Glover's Ferry! I wasn't at Glover's Ferry. Hey there, dogface. Congratulations. It's good to see you, Tommy. You look great. Hello, Marty. Hey, what is it with these guys? They act like cops. They are. They're trying to protect me. Who from? From an old buddy who threatened to kill him. Who? You. Me kill Tommy? You said you'd get him, Marty. Hey, I got news for you. You're talking about two other guys. One other guy, Marty. Pat O'Rourke. What's the matter with you, Tommy? Pat's dead. You were on the patrol. You remember that? I just told you. You remember that I had the patrol and that Pat relieved me? Yeah, that's when he got killed. You said it was my fault, Marty. You said you'd get me for it. Tommy, how could I say that? How could it be your fault? You didn't kill him. You said it, Marty, just before they sent you down. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I could have said anything that night. I even said I'd kill my own mother. I had a nervous breakdown. Is that so terrible? I mean, ask Tommy how many good guys were sent down. Real good guys. Ask him how many days we were in the line. All right, all right. But you're all right now. What do you think? I discharged from the hospital. Tommy and his bride. Well, that's great. You come to a buddy's wedding and you start signing autographs. Tommy, Steve. What's the matter? You know there is a wedding. Maybe you forgot. I'm, 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 I'm sorry, Papa. It's, it's my fault. Look, we'll be right there. Tommy, it's your wedding. Oh all right, all right, Tommy. I came for the wedding. Steve? Is everybody going crazy in this house? Come on. All right. Tommy, wait, the guarantee. Well, uh, why don't you hold it for me, huh, Marty? Check. Well, aren't you guys coming? We'll be right there, Marty. Check. Do you believe him? I, I, I don't know. Look, somebody wrote those special delivery greetings to the kids, you know? Come on, let's go. Beloved friends, you have come into the presence of these witnesses to profess that which lies deep in your hearts and to receive the spiritual blessing which seals this sacred union. There are no other ties on earth more sweet and tender than those you are about to assume. There are no other vows more solemn than those you are about to take. True marriage is the holiest of all earthly unions. It should be entered into reverently, thoughtfully, and with a true understanding of its sacredness. Do you understand this? 
I do. I do. Who giveth this woman to be married? I do. Will you please join your right hands? Will you, Thomas, have this woman whose hand you now hold, choosing her alone from all the world to be your lawful wedded wife? Isn't it beautiful? Will you live with her in a state of true matrimony? Uh -huh. Will you love her, comfort her, honor and cherish her at all times? All these people. Yeah. And forgetting all others, keep her only unto yourself. I will. Will you, Angela, have this man whose hand you now hold, choosing him alone from all the world to be your lawful wedded husband? I will. What token do you give of your vows? Is it all right? Bless, O oh God, this ring, that he who gives it and she who wears it may ever abide in unending love, of which this marriage seal is a symbol. With this ring I be wed. Inasmuch as you, Thomas, and you, Angela, have pledged your troth one to the other, by the authority vested in me, and by the laws of this commonwealth, I now pronounce you husband and wife. In the grace of the Father, the power of the Son, and the consciousness of the Holy Spirit. She will lost his way. Thank you. Thank you. Really beautiful thing. And take good care of all Just anything to you, like for instance dancing. Oh, Claire, honey, you know the way I dance. We're not married yet. You have to dance with me. Married? Seems to me we're not even engaged. Since when? Since you gave away your engagement ring. Wasn't that nice and generous of me? Just make sure you get it back. Are you kidding? After all the conniving I went through to get it. Woman. Who? The person you're so interested in. Uh, you know me, cling of the roving eye. Bert, what's really going on here? A wedding, haven't you heard? No, seriously. Well, I'm just checking to see that there weren't any gate crashes. It didn't sound that simple when Steve called you. Well, I think it was a false alarm. Could an old buddy of the groom cut in? I don't know anybody here. Of course. Thank you. It's 
Tommy and I won the war together. First time I've seen him since. Gee, you must have a lot to get caught up on. Oh, we do. Hey, we just got started. No, well, you're still one up on me, buddy. I haven't had such a rush since I got engaged. Well, you know, a policeman's girl leads a real wild life. You happy? You love him? Oh, yeah, yeah. You used to love me. That was a long time ago, Ben. You probably loved a dozen girls since then. I, uh, I haven't known a dozen girls. I found my girl, Angela. If you please, it's my wedding day. Should have been ours. Stop it, Ben. Where's Tommy? You can't forget Tommy for one minute. Angela, one thing. If anything ever happened to Tommy, anything, I'd be there. Just remember that, Angela. Please stop it, Ben. Remember that I'd be there. All right, all right, all right. Please, Steve, Ben didn't mean anything. I'm not so sure about that. Don't ruin my wedding, please. Changing partners? Yeah, that's right, you're my new partner. Huh? Um. Cagney movie. Right up to your pockets, Ben. Oh, now, wait. Just do it. Why? I'm going to tell you something. I don't like you very much, especially today, and the taxpayers aren't paying me for today, so you just empty your pockets. Oh, are you what? Suspect was uncooperative and abusive. Hmm? What are you trying to do? Stop you from killing Tommy. Well, you're crazy. All right, then suppose you tell me what it's all about. Like what? Like this. And like this. Now, that's your handwriting, Ben. It matches the signature on your driver's license. That's yours. I was in Clover's Ferry, and I was visiting my kid brother at camp, and the counselor had the spider in a jar of formaldehyde. I had some credit borrow for a joke. Uh -huh. Are you joking with Angela out there when I cut in on you? Uh, what do you mean? If anything ever happens to Tommy, that's what I mean. Just exactly what might happen to Tommy, then what did you have in mind? Oh, that, just, uh, that was nothing. I was just... I don't think it was wishful thinking. You carried the joke too far for that. I didn't mean anything about it. I, I've known Angela all my life, and I, I, and I was talking like a friend. Look, friends don't send black widow spiders to the groom and condolence cards to the bride, Ben. <clears throat> no. But I... I couldn't hurt Angela. I love her. Oh, you've got a real funny way of showing it. You're trying to get rid of Tommy? She, she, she was my whole life until uh, she decided to marry Tommy. I couldn't see them married. Where's the ring, Ben? Where's the ring? At the altar. Um, I dropped it near the altar. Tommy, listen, son, if I said anything, you know, when you first started with Angela, whatever I said, I don't mean it, okay? Sure. Tommy, I love you like my own, because you love my Angela, so now you are my own. And you drive carefully, will you? You got a long time with Angela. Such lovely things. You know what my trousseau was? An apron. <laughs> Come in. 
Mr. Pavlik said Angela wanted to see me. Claire? You are not nice, Mr. Kling. I hope you will be very happy. I just wanted to be sure you got your ring back. And thank you very much. Oh, not at all. Oh, I'll go see if the car is ready. Well, let Papa take care of that. Oh, Papa's too excited to take care of anything. Keep me company. Sure. It was a lovely wedding. But why did Ben have to go and spoil it? Not the wedding, I mean. I mean afterwards. Rejected suitor? Well, he wasn't really a suitor. At least I never thought of him that way. I've known him practically all my life. When are you getting married? Have you set the day? Not until after I graduate. You know something? Less than an hour ago, I was ready to call my wedding off. Can you imagine that? <sighs> Not after meeting Tommy. Isn't he wonderful? Oh, but so is yours. Which reminds me, I think I'd better go find it. Good luck. Thank you. Same for you. Hi, Tommy. Ready to go, huh? Yeah, just, just about. Gee, dog face, I'm glad I caught you. I almost forgot to give you the message. What message? From Pat. From Pat O'Rourke. You don't mean that, Marty. I promised him. You, you don't think I forgot, do you? I, re I remember everything. Like commando tactics. Do you remember commando tactics, murderer? You're wrong, Marty. Murderer? I didn't kill him. I, I, I fell out with a sprained ankle. You can do better than that. You could have said earache or stomachache. Why did you say stomachache? Marty, listen to me. There are detectives all over this place. I can take care of the detectives all over the place. I took care of one already. All I have to do is yell. And you're dead! I'm gonna die anyway, isn't that right, Marty? One of us. Oh, honey, I'm gonna give you a chance, murderer. It's a lot more than you gave Pat. But you got the knife. Yeah. I got the knife. Look, Marty, give me an even chance. Put the knife down, huh? You could come and get it. Maybe that's it. Why don't you come and take it away, murderer? Murderer? Murderer! Have you seen Bert around anywhere? I've been looking all over for him. Oh, I, I told him to keep his eye on one of the guests. Huh? Male or female? Male. <laughs> That's all right, then. Oh. Bert! Oh, no, I suppose I did that, too. Bert! You always were slow with a man. 
I remember that, too. Get it over with. I waited too long. Pat's been dead too long. You know what's left of him? Bones and dust. And I'm supposed to let you enjoy life? Pat was the best friend I ever had. Pat was my friend, too. Don't you use his name, you make us think of his name! <laughs> better I can't tell I think it's frozen you were wonderful darling what's so wonderful about being clobbered the ring did you get the ring back of course I'm the only girl who's going to wear this ring on her honeymoon good maybe by that time it'll be paid for well, everything's under control bride and groom are on their honeymoon He's on his way to jail. They'll probably send him back to the hospital. Such excitement. Are you all right? I'm sorry you got hurt at the red. Oh, no, not at all. This proves my point. You see, honey, what happens at big weddings? Black widow spiders drop in, people get slugged, guys run around waving knives. Give me a nice, safe justice of the peace any time. Whatever you say, dear. That's my baby. 